In this session, we're going to look at concatenation. This is where we can take two objects and join them together. So we can have something like first name, last name, and output them as the one output rather than having two separate statements. Let's have a look at that to start with. So we need to dim some variables. So we're going to dim s first name and s last name. Your type string. Now we can actually set them to s first name is equal to Leon. And remember, whenever you're using text, they need to be in quotes. And we can set s last name to equal Marsden. Now, when we output this, we can output them several different ways. We can actually output them to a message box, and we can output s first name. and message box as last name. So let's run this program. You notice that we have two message box. But if I want them to come up in the same message box, I can actually, I'm just going to comment this out with a single quote, go and put as last name. So in the message box, it's going to put the first name and the last name. Run this again. Hit start you notice it's together. Now you notice there's no space, Leon, Marsden, and they're hard up. To put a space in there, we actually have to tell the computer to place one in there. So we're going to use the end symbol, which is our concatenation, which is put the first object and the second object together. But we're going to deliberately put a space in and then join the last name. So put the first name and a space, then the last name. So let's run this again. And now we can actually see the first name and the last name. So if we wanted to put a value out, so we're going to dim an integer, and it's going to be integer pocket money. We can actually set pocket money then to be a, a numerical value to equal, say, 12. And I want to add this in here as well. So let's have a look at our output now. Now, if I want to show this with dollar signs and things like that, I would need to actually put them in the concatenation. So where I have pocket money, I'm going to put a quote and a dollar sign and use the end symbol again. And then if I wanted a space between them, because you'll notice now that the last name, dollar sign 12, there's still no spaces. I would need to put those spaces in myself. So once again, just before the quote, put a space. So this is how I can concatenate. Now if I was going to output the information, say, to the console, I can do much the same thing where I go debug dot right line. And I can pick up all the information that I just typed out before from my message box and place that into here. So when the program runs now, you can now see the Leon Mars and $12. And when I click on OK and it runs the next line of code, you can actually see my output. It's got some integer number. It's also got some text and it's also got a character that I've added. Now I can also output the same information to a text box. Rather than go debug.writeline, I can go textbox.text equals and do the same sort of concatenation. So this is how we can actually join different elements together to make compound strings. And you can also use it to make stories as well. Now if we want to store all this information in a variable rather than building it in a complex output, we can do that. We're going to make another string and we're going to call it S communication. And what I would like to do is say that S communication is equal to S first name plus S last name plus I pocket money. And I'm just going to rim out these ones here. 
and I'll debug right line. as communication and run the program now so when I click start you'll notice that there's an error and it's talking about a type double is not valid because we're trying to join together a string with a string with an integer so we're trying to add all those together so if I delete this one and run it and click start you can see that Leon Marsden comes out because they're all a type string and once again we can put in some spaces to help break up the information now if I want the 12 to come out as dollars once again I'll put plus quote space dollar sign but I'm going to use a C S T R which means convert to string so change it from integer to string and then I can put in there I pocket money so convert I pocket money to a string add the dollar sign and add the information now when the program runs and I click start I now have the same output I had before using a prompt box so once again we're still using concatenation but sometimes I have to convert to string to make sure that they're of the same variable type and I can still make a complex concatenated output to reduce lines of code. In a message box we use the end symbol if we're joining elements and storing them back into a variable we use the plus sign rather than the end symbol. So I hope you found this very useful in making concatenated sentences where we put two or more objects together to make complex outputs.